Hello, it's Lane with WinRTSource.com. It's April 8th. That means that Windows 8.1 update, or Windows 8.1 update 1, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure what Microsoft is thinking with the way they've named this update, but uh, it is what it is. It is here. I am running it on my Surface 2. I want to show you a couple of changes that I was not aware were going to uh, happen on the Windows RT. Uh, and also I want to show you how to enable showing running apps, running Metro applications down here in the taskbar. First thing I did want to mention that is missing. Up here you'll see the search charm. Of course you can still access it the classic way. On x86 Windows desktop class PCs you will see a shortcut for the power button there or for the settings charm so you can still of course shut down sleep restart your surface 2 from there but it is strangely missing from here when it is available on my surface pro and surface pro 2 a little bit weird I didn't know there was going to be a difference there I'd imagine that's because Microsoft believes that people with Windows RT are probably not that concerned about shutting off their devices to save power. Still strange that it's not there. If you don't have the update yet, go to settings, go to change PC settings, update and recovery, and check for updates. You should find it there within a few hours at the latest. Next I want to show you you can access the control panel right from the settings app. I had forgotten that was going to be there. Let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, I do have several Metro apps running, but you do not see them down here in the taskbar. To enable that, in your control panel, type in taskbar, click on taskbar and navigation, and in this menu, check the box that says show Windows Store apps on the taskbar. And hit apply, and you'll notice those applications show up right away. So, from here, there are a couple of interesting features, just so you know how to navigate this. If you click on a Metro app, it will launch it. If you click on it again, first of all, drag your mouse down below the bottom of the screen and that taskbar will show back up. Click on it again, it minimizes it. You also have this control box here. Right click on that, you can snap the application left or right except it's called split for some reason. You can minimize, which does that same thing, or you can click this to minimize it. Real quick here, I want to show you in Task Manager, you'll see these applications running. So I want to show you what happens to alarms if Let's go ahead and snap this here actually, and we'll show Task Manager right here. Watch what happens to alarms if I click this close button. Not much. Uh, the resources for the CPU go down to zero, but it's not exactly the same as ending the task, where it actually kills it completely. So I just wanted to show you what that actually does. Next I want to show you for music, if you are playing a song and you're on the desktop, if you hover over that, in the taskbar preview, I have not been able to make this consistent. Right now it's not showing the play, pause, or skip forward, skip back buttons, but I've tried recording this video two times already, thinking that I had, had it down, whether it was there or wasn't there. Um, it's not there more often than it is there. Um, I want to try and see, obviously I can still play and pause from here, but again, buttons are not there. I haven't had that problem on my Surface Pro 2. Buttons are always there. Sometimes they're there on Windows RT. Not sure what's going on there. Maybe Microsoft can look into that. So uh, that's it. That's how you navigate the new UI. Um, I really like it. For those times when I'm working, uh, I work in OneNote and Microsoft Word a lot on my Surface 2, so it's going to be nice to be able to get to and from Metro apps quickly. 
uh, let us know what you think down in the comments uh, as always thanks very much for watching and please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you learned something